Buenos días, buenas tardes, buenas noches y buenas vidas. Bienvenidos a Caldo de Risa with me, Danny Archilla, and my co-host, Brian TV. Hello, it's good to be here. What's going on, everybody? We are back with another episode of your, vengeance. your favorite podcast about Colombians, by Colombians, for Colombians. I like it. And friends. And friends. Yeah. Me and Brian, we're a couple of Columbros. We, nice. Uh, all right, all right. We take to the podcast. I fuck with that. Uh, every time to uh, talk about something different about Colombia. And today is a very special treat because I've actually uh, I've actually got uh, Brian a, a quiz. I'm, yeah. Uh, uh, Danny him. hit me up earlier and um, surprised me uh, with. Uh, well, first, uh, he, he blindsided me. He prestiged me with delicious empanadas. Oh, and we got to shout them out. In Burbank, California, please go to World of Empanadas yes. for some of the best empanadas you will have in your life. What type of empanadas did I give you, Brian? Uh, there were all types of uh, delicious empanadas, man. There was like a biscuits and gravy one. There was like a Santa Fe chicken. Mm -hmm. Um, beef. Uh, it was great. There's like a mushroom and cashew one. They so. even had a dessert item of Nutella and banana. Yeah, it was uh, exceptionally good. Yeah. Um. So yeah, no, it was great. And then, um, in true parent fashion, uh, after bribing me with delicious sweets and eats, uh, Danny said, "Oh, also, I'm gonna be quizzing your knowledge on." Colombian stuff today. That's so. right. And the prize is if he gets more questions right than wrong in this quiz, I'll treat him to a beer. And if I get less wrong, then he'll treat me to then a I'll beer. I'll treat him to a beer. That's that's how it works. High work. stakes. High stakes. All right. Well, let's get into it. Uh, okay, Brian. Yeah, start start me off. This with, is this is our and I'll put some Jeopardy music underneath. This is Colombro quiz numero uno. For Brian TV. It's true. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Brian, question number one. In the country of Colombia, what is the capital? A, Cali. B, Bogota. Or C, Medellin. Uh, I'm going to go with B, Bogota. Ging, 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 ging. You're correct. Yeah, that clap, is clap, 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 a clap. big green mark. Did you know that uh, there's more of a density in Bogota than there is in all of New York City? No. Yeah. Wow, really? My family told me that. Whoa. It's pretty nuts. Something like 10 times bigger. I don't know. I got to double check. But That's crazy. Pretty crazy. Question number two. In Colombia, what is the preferred currency? Is it A, diamonds? B, gold, or C, pesos? The premier currency. Uh, well, diamonds is crazy. I know they don't go around paying in diamonds. Yeah, man, diamonds are forever. Preferred currency. It's got to be pesos. Brian. No! That's correct. Yeah. There we go. I'm, try I'm starting <laughs> you off easy. These yeah, are some yeah, pretty simple this questions. Like who wants to be a millionaire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Talking about easy questions. Let's uh, go to the phones to call a friend. Oh, I can't because I need to know if my Wi-Fi will connect for the calling code. What would you say is the international calling code for Colombia? Holy shit, that was a lead up. That was a crazy <laughs> mouthful. Yeah. Woo, I that thought was, there was going to be like three questions in there. I'm a Boy Scout and even I couldn't handle that <laughs> hike. Uh, is it A... Plus 57, B, plus 101, or C, plus 880. Which code is it for Colombia to give an international call from wherever you are? Can I get the options again? Okay. First one is 57. Uh huh. Second one is 101. Uh huh. Third one is 880. I gotta say. I gotta say the first one. I think that's um, what that's what my heart and Coruscant. Okay, is. Brian. Oh no! Yeah. I'm sorry to say that you got that right. Hey! Hey! Bow, 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 bow. 
That's right. You know what the other two are? Uh, 101 is for Canada, and the oh. 880 is for Bangladesh. Ah, all right. Yeah. That would have felt real dumb. I was going to go with the Bangladesh one. Here's a fun fact about those countries. We've never said them before on this podcast before. So <laughs> oh, we what's are up really hidden. To all our Bangladesh Colombians and Canadian Colombians. Actually, I do have family in Colombia. In, in Bangladesh. In Vancouver. Oh. I met a Vancouverian couple when I was doing a show in, uh, in Hollywood. Oh. And uh, the guy was from Colombia, and I did this really stupid, hokey Spanish joke, and he loved it. And I took pictures with him later, and he's uh-huh. on my profile. He's he, like a fan of yours. He's a fan, and I'm going to hang out with him What's and his, his name? wife. What's his name? We should shout him out. Oh, man, I forgot his name, but I can shout out his Instagram, All I right. think. Well, we can do that at the end. We'll do that later. But, uh, yeah, he and his wife live in Vancouver, so whenever I go there, I got a couple of other Columbros I can hang out with. I feel with that. Yeah. Get out of here, Tino. This is a cameo by Tino. You can't see my 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 questions, right? No, fuck that, dude. Oh, yeah, I'm rolling a joint. I I cool. Well, you got three out of three right. We're we got, going for this, baby. We got plenty more to go, so let's get on to question number four. What is the Colombian motto? You know, because like in how you know America has like oh, in God we trust and all that, or uh-huh. uh, I guess uh, England has long live the Queen or whatever. You know, what's the motto for Colombia? Okay. Warning, these are in Spanish, so it's going to be not very well pronounced. Uh, your first option. Number A, Dios patria y libertad. Number B, libertad y orden. Number C, Dios y federación. Uh, can you repeat them for me? Okay, so first one. Uh, the for the motto for Colombia would be Dios patria y libertad. Uh-huh. Second one, libertad y orden. Uh-huh. And then option C, Dios y federación. Uh, Do you need an English the, translation? Or it's no? gonna be the first one. Oh, Brian, you're wrong. No. Uh, the first one's for Ecuador, bud. Mm. You traitor. Fuck. Dude, I got one wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was it? The second one? Yes, it was the second Fucking one. Cunt. Libertad de Orden. And then the third one was for Venezuela. Dios y Federación. <coughs> I'm ashamed. Libertad y Orden? Yeah. Here, here's an Liberty interesting... Liberty order. Yeah, exactly, so. exactly. Here's here's an interesting thing uh, that you may not have known. Apparently, Colombia is only second behind one of the Caribbean countries, I know. Um in how many women are actually uh, hired to lead in the workforce. So, like, they have some weird stat, like 48 to 50% of uh, bosses are female in Colombia. Sick. So for, I mentioned that because... That's, I mentioned that because Dios, Patria, Libertad tr- translates to God, patriarchy, and liberty, I think. No, so. Patria. Patria is patriotism. What about matriotism? Matriotism is... Why don't, we have, why don't we have matriotism, man? That's what I'm saying. Oh. Colombia doesn't roll like that. They don't think about the patriarchy or, Archila, or patriotism. Your work has been slacking of late. Okay. All right, buddy. All right. Uh, so that's the first one you got wrong, but that's okay. We got Fuck. plenty more. Question number five. From these dates, tell me which one is the day of our declaration of independence <laughs> from Spain. Is it A, May 20th, 1818? B, August 7th, 1819, or C, July 20th, 1810? Which one of these was the day we declared our independence from Spain? Could I get like a little like, from could a, I get like a beatbox kind of Jeopardy-like beat in the background? You want me to do that? Yeah, yeah I, I can do that. Away, right? Yo. Which one is it? Uh, which one is it? Here we go. A, B, C. A, B, C. Which one of the three could it be? I go with B. That's wrong. Fuck! God damn it! It's C! Oh, right, well, it's too late. You already, you already guessed it. But so, was it C? It was C. <laughs> Yeah. <coughs> it was because I was busy listening to your sick fucking beats. I think so, yeah. So if you said B, that was August 7th, 1819. Shit. 
What's whose Independence Day was that? That wasn't even an independent. That, <sighs> these are all relative to Columbia's. It's just August seventh, eighteen nineteen, was a recognition of our declaration. So in other words, I think that's when Spain was like, okay, we get it. You guys aren't part of our country anymore. Fuck. Don't rub it in our faces. Whereas the twentieth of July, eighteen ten, was when. We declared it, so that was a whole nine years before Spain was finally cool with us. Kind of cool that thing. it's in July, though. Yeah, and twentieth of May. That's just Christopher Columbus's death day, actually. That's all right. I he didn't die in eighteen eighteen. Real quick, bonus earlier. question. Yeah, how do you feel about Christopher Columbus? Oh man, didn't we talk about this last time with my cousin? Um, oh yeah. I don't. No, I don't no, have but I didn't an ask opinion. About Christopher Columbus specifically. Well, you I'm asked about colonizers, I think. I well, don't. Because, well, that's what my question. So you see Columbus as a colonizer? I I don't care about Columbus. I think it's cool that like we've been able to evolve past like putting this guy on a pedestal just because he did something that literally anybody could have done on a boat. But at the same time, like I don't know. I mean, whatever his purpose was, it inspired my people. So you know, Facts. like well that's said. it doesn't matter. You know. All right. Next question. You having fun so far? <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. All right, that's I good. love getting asked questions like that. I'm glad. It's, you got fun. it's fun. Okay, well, this one's going to really <clears throat> put you through a tailspin. Uh-oh. In fact, I'm going to go in an interesting order. I'm going to go from down up. All right. Okay. Brian, tell me. These questions are a little more harder, so be prepared. But um, tell me the order of the top three countries in coffee from first, second, and Fuck. third. Fuck. Okay. Oh, I got I got choices for you. I got okay. choices for you. Right. Okay. So is it A, Brazil's the first, Vietnam's the second, and Colombia's the third? Okay. B, India's the first, Colombia's the second, and Russia's the third? Okay. Or C, Colombia's the first, Indonesia's the second, and Ethiopia's the third? <sighs> you know, got to go with my gut, and I got to say we... Yeah, and, you, and restate it, too, if you can. Yeah. Can you go through the... Okay, so number one is Brazil first, Vietnam second, Colombia third. Number two is India second, Colombia... India first, Colombia second, Russia third. And number three is Colombia first, Indonesia second, Ethiopia third. Well, I don't feel like Russia has the climate for coffee. So I don't think it's B... And it seems almost pretentious to assume that Colombia is like the first in coffee export, even though that is like their big that and emeralds are essentially their biggest things. Like But to have Colombia come in, in third. What was the first one again? The first one was Brazil, Vietnam, and Colombia in descending order. I'm gonna go with the third one, C. So you just so you're sure about this, you say Colombia's the first, Indonesia's the second, and Ethiopia's the third. That's the one you believe in. Uh, yes. Oh, okay, you were wrong. Uh, it was the first one. It wasn't was the it? first one. God damn it! Brazil, Vietnam, and Colombia. So God you were, damn it! Your, I knew it was too gut, pretentious. Your gut was right on that instance. Uh, yeah. 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 Damn, I'm like a really bad Sherlock Holmes. Like, I, I get right to the end, and yeah. then I'm like, he's the killer. Suppose you are. <laughs> Suppose you are. Um, yeah. I, I, I've only recently gotten into co- coffee, and I think it's only because I just want to be a better representation of Colombia. You know? Dude, me too. Yeah, Isn't man. that funny? Yeah. We should just we should just review, like, different companies. do. Coffee. Yeah, different types of Colombian coffee. Can we do rap? Well, I don't want to turn the show into my show. Go ahead. <laughs> I mean, you've won a rap interlude. You could tell me about what you learned so far. We could do that at the end. Whatever you want. Can you do show. that then? Yeah. Yeah. That. yeah. Uh, all right. That's. Oh, you got that wrong. Why did I mark that? Like Fuck. That? Yeah. No, it's Brazil, Vietnam, Colombia. I'm gonna beat Zoe later. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that on camera. All right. So you got three wrong and three right. So you're not doing okay. bad, but you're also not doing good. No, that's not great. So yeah, let's yeah. see if we could turn it around. This one's a little more easier. This one's worth hundred points, right? No. Uh, what does the acronym of FARC in English uh, stand for? In case you don't know, FARC is, yeah, you know, yeah. the gorilla We've folk. talked about it before on the show, yeah, and yeah. you should know because it was mentioned a lot during exactly. Narcos. Exactly, but I mean, it's... Oh, and Danny covered it on, like, episode 
seven or eight, you Something. covered Farka. Yeah. Or Fark. F- Fargo? Hit me with the choices. <laughs> All right. Number A is Fark in English stands for Colombian Anarchist Federation of Realists. Uh, number B is uh, Rebels Aligned for Colombia. Number C is Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia. Which one is it? All right. Does FARC stand for Colombian Anarchist Federation of Realists? Does FARC stand for Rebels Aligned for Colombia? Or does FARC stand for Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia? Number three. You're correct. (laughs) (laughs) You got that right. Wow, you were listening to that mama, episode. Mama, I still got the Colombian <laughs> in me, mama. I still got the Colombian in me, mama. Okay. All right. <coughs> this one might be my Looks favorite Looks like she walks away with that. just one black eye. So, Colombians, uh, we were just talking about fitness earlier. Shout out to our buddy, William Martinez. Shout out to Will, Will Martinez yeah. for having us in the studio. Yeah. Um, but he, uh, he and I and... Brian, uh, we were talking about fitness, and it got me thinking about this next question, which I'm going to ask you right now. What do you think, out of these three options, is the national sport of Colombia? Is it A, bowling, where you take a bowling ball and you throw it down an alley and you hit a bunch of bowling pins, and whoever has the greatest total after 10 frames wins the game? Is it B, soccer? It's a team sport. You play about 90 minutes, two halves, and... You're kicking a ball around. You try not to go off sides, and you basically could win a very important match by one goal because it takes that long. Uh, or C, Tejo. Everybody knows what Tejo is. I'll tell you what Tejo is. It's like um, it's like when you uh, you you take rings and you throw them at like explosives, and uh, the more that go off, the more points you win. So is it bowling, soccer, or Tejo? What is the national sport of Colombia? Well, now I'm thinking about how you would have set this up. How you, as a quiz creator, would have set this up. You know, Plus your presentation. So you knew the kicker was Tejo. The question is, do you believe Tejo was a big enough smoke screen to cause me to... Discount soccer. <laughs> What's your answer? What's or your is answer? Tejo really? I'm gonna go with soccer. Tejo sounds like a snark screen. You're wrong. Fuck. Was it Tejo? <laughs> it was Tejo. Wow. Ah, <laughs> so it's actually really interesting. I just learned about the sport today, and I'm so mad my parents never had me play the sport. But when you and I, not if, but when you and I go to Colombia, sick we're, phrasing. We're I gonna play it. Tejo because it's supposed to be sick. Yeah, let's make that a promise, Danny. Verbally, right now. Daniel, Anastasia, Archilla, That's our Roberto. and me, Brian, Archilla, Tassara, hereby announce that we will travel to Columbia, to Columbia together to gonna... find my father. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, we're going to go to pl- get beer and Danny said, yeah. play, play Tejo. Uh, it's very interesting, honestly. So basically what they do... It's a really chill sport. You just play with your family or friends, and you you with grab the explosives. I'm confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, there's like um, it's kind of like ski ball and bowling, but if you're just using small metal rings. Okay. And these metal rings, what they do is uh, they go towards this like kind of slope type of area with gunpowdered bags filled all the way around, and the whole point of it is that you f- you toss these rings to the gunpowdered bags. For a, a variety of uh, points that you could get. Let's say you get your uh, Tejo. That's the name of the rings. The discs. Let's say the discs. You get your Tejos uh, far from the explosives. The little pouches of explosives scattered throughout the playing area. Uh, you get zero points. But you get three points if you throw your Tejos and it causes an explosion. Even if it doesn't hit the the the, the bag, you know. So like basically if you if you don't hit the gunpowder but you still cause it to explode that's 3 points. You get 6 points if you do hit it but it doesn't explode. So if you do touch the bag of gunpowder and it doesn't explode you get 6 points. 
and you get nine points if it touches the explosives and it explodes. Mm. It's crazy. And basically, if you if you win, then the other person buys you a beer. That's the whole way it works. Wow. So, okay. That's why I want to get you a beer. All you know? right. That's crazy. One, well, two, three, four. I, now I, le- I learn every time we do this show. I, I learn something new about. Yeah. Columbia. Well, I've learned you're uh, a point uh, down. You're basically one, Fuck. two, three, four Fuck. points down, and and no, you're no. one, two, three. Give me, give me one more. Four I can, I can points up. Oh, okay. No, no. You're equal. Uh, can even it out. These are our last couple of questions. Oh, shit. Yeah. All right, let's see here. Uh, finish this song. Why'd you get an accent on this? <laughs> finish this song. This is a song. You're, you're liking the song and the rapping and everything. So here's a song one for you. Okay. Arroz con leche me quiero blank. Con una blank de la capital. Fuck. Is it A, arroz con leche me quiero bailar con una mariposa de la capital? Uh-huh. Is it B, arroz con leche me quiero lanzar con un cerdo gordo de la capital? <laughs> or is it C, arroz con leche me quiero casar con una señorita de la capital? I think it's the first one. You think it's Bailard and Mariposa? Yeah. I think you're wrong, dude. <gasps> it, Wait, was, it was the last one? Yeah, Casar de Señorita. Arroz con leche me quiero casar con una señorita de la capital. Fuck, in my hood, we used to say... <laughs> <laughs> Arroz con yeah, leche yeah, yeah. me quiero bailar yeah. con una mariposa de la capital. That's so funny that you got that wrong. I'm an idiot. That's all good. That's all you good. You know what? Next week, I'm going to come up with a quiz. You should. You should totally do it. Totally do it. I'm probably not going to get any of them right. Okay. Here's a true or false question. Ooh. I'm mixing it up. According to a survey, more than 85% of Colombians say they feel happy, making Colombia the happiest country in the world, statistically. True or false? True. You're right. Yeah. Everyone I knew makes us so happy. Yeah, I knew we give heart, each other bro. chances. I knew in my heart. I was like, they got to be happy. Yeah. But that's because the cartel took that fucking uh, quiz. Okay. We don't have to get into politics. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Um, all right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're 10 questions deep. We're okay. almost through. Okay. All right. Let's see. True or false? The country's national flower is the orchid, of which there are many variety within the country of Colombia. What's the Spanish name for orchid? Orchidia? I don't know. No. Or Am I supposed to say true or false? Yeah, is it true or is it false? Either true or false. Would false. you um, sing me co- kind of like a melancholy, <laughs> kind of like Colombian, kind of like uh, Jeopardy, like ballad, kind of like while I while I try and figure it out? True. Yes, you were correct. Yeah. There we are. You got that right. I had to think. I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah. Okay. Am I ahead? You're 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 getting ahead. Fuck Here you. are some pretty easy questions coming up. So All right, hit me with let's it. help you out. Okay, this is another multiple choice. In Colombia, there is a rare species of dolphin called the Amazon River dolphin that exists within its waters. Specifically, these dolphins are very limited and are likely to. Uh, what do you call them? Die out? Uh, go extinct. Go extinct. They're likely to go extinct within, you know, the next century or so, I would say. Damn. So, 
That said, what color are these very incredibly rare dolphins? Uh-huh. And how many of them are there okay. left? So I'm going to give you six options for this. Holy fuck. Okay. Okay. So these dolphins are yellow, and there's 10 of them left. These dolphins are... One second. Okay. These dolphins are blue, light blue, like cyan blue, and there are 20 of them left. These dolphins are pink, and there are 30 of them left. Or these dolphins are yellow, and there are 30 of them left. (laughs) I had, to, I, had to, I had to scrounge for his color wheel at the end there. I had to, I had to run through the rainbow of the Lucky Charms commercial through his head. Motherfucker, I had to go. Well, the, okay. So these colors, these dolphins are yellow. <laughs> and there are 30 of them left. But my these, favorite part about that is you said the color yellow, and then you said, fucking shit, Danny, you idiot. Yellow dolphins. <laughs> I, yeah, Danny said, yellow dolphins. I feel like, you know, you gotta These dolphins it's the are. Pink dolphins. You didn't even let me go through the rest of the answer. But I know my, my heart is the pink dolphin. <laughs> okay, well, there's another quite. Okay, if it's a pink dolphins, uh, you know. All or nothing. Is it <laughs> pink dolphins, uh, uh, 30 of them, or pink dolphins, 20 of them? Um, I don't know. That's fucking kind of interesting. I'd probably go with 30. You're wrong. Fucking shit. 20 of them. Damn, it really is. Oh. <laughs> How do you know that they're only 20? Because that's what the website said. Only 20 of them are alive in captivity. That's sad. Oh, mm. they're in captivity? <laughs> so I guess you're right, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Whoa. Maybe maybe there are just like 10 of them wildly roaming about that went to like Italy for the yeah, last 100 yeah. years. <laughs> that's crazy. That's so funny. But yeah, no, it's 20 of them. Okay. Well, okay. Damn. Um, do I get half a point? Or like... No, uh, because I no points. No points. No points for that one. Fuck you. I'm giving you as many opportunities as I can. No, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you another question right now, actually. Yeah. All right. All right. Colombia's biggest exports, besides coffee, uh, involve. Uh, which of these three, uh, four options, actually? Is it A, emeralds, B, bananas, C, gold, or D, all of the above? C, all of the above. You mean D, all of the above? Yeah, you s- yeah you're correct. Yeah. 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 There you go. You're back on top. Yeah. You're making it. Okay. I'm making it happen. One question at a time. Okay. True or false? Do most Colombians uh, try to practice feng shui in order to avoid the bad luck that comes from looking in your mirrors and seeing within your motile coil the depression that lies within every Colombian's heart? Damn. Is it true or false that we that we try to get rid of our mirrors for that? Like a check. Will you read it again? Okay, true or false? Do we get rid of mirrors to cure our depression? What happened to the feng shui part you were talking? Well, about? I mean, I'm just trying to because I, like lo- I feel like I lose. I feel like I lose you with the with the. No, wording. no, but I mean, it, you it, had me enthralled. So, so if this was true, um, uh-huh. it's because we believe in superstition. Okay. And uh, just something, there's something depressing about looking at yourself in the mirror. It's probably why I'm very bad with eye contact because I can see myself in the mirror of people's eyeballs all the time. Do we break mirrors? Is that the question? No, that's also bad luck. I'm saying, do we, <laughs> do we just avoid them altogether? Do we place them strategically around our houses? I don't know. I don't know. What that, I mean, that's a really weird website. Think okay. <laughs> think go back to childhood. Yeah. Try to think really hard. Yeah. Did you have a lot of mirrors you looked at that weren't in the restroom? Well, 
my mom was Americanized, so uh, I don't. We had a mirror when you came right in, like through the garage. <laughs> okay, but just one mirror, I guess. I don't know. How so many, that was pretty strategic. How many mirrors are you supposed to have? I guess what you're trying to say is that you're pretty strategic about your mirrors. Me, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. This you're strategic is, about this mirror. What a crazy story. There's, a, there's an LCD screen right here. That's that's a mirror to us. Yeah, yeah. I guess you are kind of strategic, huh? I guess we are. I guess yes, I guess that are. means you're correct. Well, I got a point. Yeah, you got a point. I mean, for me, that's the most important part. <laughs> that's I'm trying to win that beer. Mm. Okay. All right, what do we have? We have... Two more questions. All right, let's do it. You ready for these? Let's do it. Okay. When you <laughs> are calling upon your family, actually, we have three more questions. Okay. <laughs> I forgot about this. Okay. Okay. Zoe is rolling her eyes so hard. I can, I can hear her from here. She's she's rolling her eyes as she's playing Mario Kart. She's Zoe, like, tell me that isn't true. <laughs> Good. She's probably racing. <coughs> okay. Last three questions. Let's go. Um, They're all split up into subsections <laughs> of questions. <laughs> they kind of are. That's the sad thing. <laughs> I was very detailed about that. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. <coughs> what is a practice that Colombians have adopted in order to... Uh, Promise themselves uh, much wealth within the new year. Uh, grapes and champagne. No, it's, it's, no, no. And I don't even think that's what the reason is for. I think it's for blessings, but l wealth, that's a different thing than luck, you know? So I'm. this is a multiple choice. I have a lot of multiple choices. What do they do? Do they... Do they take an onion, rub it on their front porch... And sing the national anthem the day of New Year's? Mm -hmm. Do they find themselves the nearest church and pray to God for good health? Mm -hmm. Or do they wear yellow boxers because it's gold and representative of how the wealthy classes used to wear very sparkly, like, vibrant undergarments while peasants wore faded tones? And this is for Christmas? No, New Year's. How do, uh, what what's their ritual to make money in the new year? Do they pray to God? Do they wear yellow boxers? Or do they rub food on their porch and uh, sing the national anthem? Gotta be fucking. The boxers. The boxers are correct. Yeah, uh, because the porch one, you weren't looking at your notes. You were just, oh, your eyes man. were freaking out. I was just My like, eyes watching are a, always freaking out. I was like out. watching a human computer make a story up on the spot. And it was like, and then you take a <laughs> insert vegetable. Actually, yeah, that question was co-written by AI, so. Rub it on the insert part of house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Penultimate question. What would be the reason that you we would with me, Danny? <laughs> <laughs> what would be yes, the reason uh, that anybody would call upon the spirit of Saint Anthony? Is it A to find yourself a spouse? Mm -hmm. B to find lost articles. C both A and B or D to clean up your home. Repeat it again. Find lost love. Uh -huh. Find a lost article or item. Uh -huh. Both of those answers. That one. Okay, you're correct. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And you want to know a fun fact about this? Um, about St. Anthony? My mother. You mean Tony Soprano? Anthony Soprano. <laughs> Hey, hey, Is that who you're talking about? Hey, Anthony. Hey, what a lot of people don't know. Hey, yo, uh, AJ. Hey, you want to come hey, in here for some coffee? AJ. Carmela. Whoa. Uh, no, give me more of that. Don't <laughs> stop. Yeah, give me, give me. Carmela. Can, okay, hold on. Can Carmela, you give me, where's the gabagool? Can you give me a, 
uh, him looking, yeah, looking for um, prosciutto and not finding any in the fridge. Pauli, where's the prosciutto? I had some prosciutto here, Pauli. Don't fuck with me. I had some gabagool here too. I could give a fuck about. I could give a fuck about. Uh, 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 um, oh, Janice. Wow. I could give a fuck about Janice. I need my gabagool, gabba now. Nice, nice. It's like Ann McKellen doing. Uh, Anthony Soprano. That was very theatrical. I like oh. that. Oh, it's like is watching that, Anthony is that Marty Scorsese again? On Broadway. I'm going to call on you, my gabagoon, Scorsese. Oh, boy. All right. We're getting high. All right, let's do this. Christopher! <laughs> he was a dope. He couldn't handle it, Doc. I'm telling you. I had to kill him in cold blood. Damn. Now shut up and let me fuck you. Whoa. I don't, that's crazy. That's Anthony. It's Anthony. It's Tony. With his bathrobe and his newspaper. I'm going to do that for Halloween. It's some pulp. Okay. So the thing, I, you made me lose my point. I was going to tell a joke and then you got me into another joke, but it's whatever. So St. Anthony is uh, the, the patron saint of miracles, right? Sick. And so I think my mom never needed St. Anthony because our mom. Not because. She was able to find money very quickly like that, but because my dad, my dad <clears throat> was the one that, uh, that called her by knocking down his uh, baby Jesus off the St. Anthony statue. And she was so nitpicky about it. She was like, oh, you're doing it wrong here. And here I found a hundred dollars under, under your foot. You're welcome. Whew. Yeah. Yeah, man. I, too, know what you're talking about. <gasps> oh! All right. Now for the last question. <laughs> I was. I think I was going to diss my parents, and I decided not to. So that's no, why I, I like pulled your back. Parents, bro. I pulled back. But there's there's something there. Cause you, well, you may have uh, Could you imagine that, like, you, you lost something, and what you lost was really just the love of your life? Like, it's deep. Okay, final hey, question. If, the, if you could save, well... This isn't my show. Uh, let's go. I was going to say if you could save the love that they had by sleeping with one of them. Who would you sleep with? Your mom or your dad? Okay, the, the next question. <laughs> so, But what? that's not what this show's about. All right, well, let's do this. You're going to cut question. that out. You got to edit yeah, yeah, that yeah, start out. Clean my for parents me. see this. Start clean for me. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Make sure he cuts that out, Zoe. My family watches the I'll podcast. Cut it out. I'll cut it out. All right, cool. Um... Okay, so what is the rationale for Colombian families to interact with pot gathering ceremonies? Is it to A, enjoy the nice day near a river and share Sancocho? Is it B, to honor the lives of dead family members and burn incense in a forest? Or is it C, to say goodbye to the new year and desert their belongings down a waterfall? You said a pot? Yeah, a pot gathering. Yeah, like what do what do Colombians do? A pot gathering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Colombian families do something with a pot. And they gather. Why? Gotcha. The first one was rafting and eating soup. No, no, yeah, yeah. Well, sitting near a river and eating soup, yeah. And the second one was... Honoring dead family members by burning incense in a forest. Uh -huh. And then the third one... Saying goodbye to the new year and deserting your belongings down a waterfall. Is that the Spanish name for it, or did you give me the English translation? I gave you the English translation. Give but... me the Spanish version of what you were saying. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's see. Why would you give me the English version of a Colombian test? That's crazy. I'll fill in with, with beatboxing. <laughs> Paseos de Oya. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you got me. Right, you, you press pause on that beatboxing track real quick. Yeah. Paseos de Oya. This much beloved uh, tradition sees the whole family get together for uh, what? Do you want me to give you a hint? This is your last question, so if you get this right, I think you get the whole thing right. One, two, three. I'd like to use four. Hold my on. Lifeline. Ba -ba -ba. Five, six, seven, eight. I'd like to call. Nine, ten. I, 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 get, I, get, I get to tell you who you could call. I'd like to call my old lady Zoe. Beep, 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 beep,
Zoe. <laughs> Pick up the phone. Hey. hey. Hi, Zoe. Welcome to the Caldo de Risa game show. Yeah, ding, shut ding, up. Ding, we ding. don't have a lot of time. Uh, the question is, okay, what I'll... do I think a paseo de olla is? Do I think it's the family getting together and eating soup down by the river? Do I think it's... Honoring the lives of dead family honoring members. Honoring the lives of dead family by members burning incense by burning in incense? a forest. Or do you think it's... Saying goodbye to the new year and deserting your belongings down a waterfall. I got 30 seconds on the clock. The pressure's on, Zoe. Paseos de olla. I, you know what? If you guys want to, I'll, I'll take away an answer. What are the, what are the, what are the... Eating soup in, at the river is the first one. Sancocho. And then honoring the dead by and then lighting incense. And then... The ding, first ding, one. ding. You got it right, oh! Zoe! I'm a true Colombian. I get to keep my Colombian card. Tell them what they're gonna bow, 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 take bow, bow, home. Bow, 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 I'm bow, Sofia bow. Vergara. Hola, pues. Lo que va a pasar es que Brian y Zoe van a tener unos cervezas del 7-Eleven. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, she was really here just now for the podcast listeners. Sofia Vergara. Sofia Vergara just so came in. And said, I get beers because I won. Thank you, ladies. Thank you to Zoe. That's, Thank you for all that. So wow, you got 11 a, answers right. Nice. And you only got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six answers wrong. You won the game. God That's 17 damn. points. You got 11 out of them. So I'd like to make a speech real quick. All right. Let's hear, let's hear it for Brian. And Zoe, she guessed the right answer. Yeah, yeah. If it wasn't for her, you, you, you first off, I'd like to thank the won. Academy. It was a huge honor. I'd like to thank uh, Danny Archella and Carla de Risa for giving me the opportunity to flex uh, everything I knew about uh, Colombian culture. I'd like to thank um, my grandma. She was a huge inspiration to me. I'd like to thank uh, my third grade teacher, Mr. Billingsley. If it wasn't for you, uh, if it wasn't for you, I would have never had an opportunity to smoke a bunch of weed and, and uh, speak on top of the podcast. Uh, that's it, everybody. Remember to turn the Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And now we will leave you with our plugs. Brian, where they can find you on the grand... I thought you were going to do a rap about what we learned. Oh, that's right. I was going to do a rap. I don't know. You were rushing off, so I was like worried if we had to go. But I'll do a rap. Here we go. All right, you got to give me the beat, though. So this is a rap about everything we learned, This is a rap about the Colombian answers. Oye, oye, oye. Mira como soy con Brian y yo. Somos muy buenos amigos. Aquí estamos hablando de Colombia. Aquí hay cosas que debes saber. Lo primero es que cuál es la capital. Obviamente no sea dramática. Obviamente no va a ser Cali o Medellín. Eso va a ser la Bogotá no suitín. Ay, ¿qué más? ¿Cómo se paga los pesos de oros y diamantes y nada? Me es un momento. Pensar. Los pesos son para ordenar. Oye, ¿cómo Voy, puedo hablar con mi abuelita y mi abuelito porque van a tener unos peritos para comer y yo quiero hablar con ellos entonces puedo 87 pero que es el moto de Colombia será Dios y Federación de Venezuela no obviamente no puede ser la Dios y Patria Libertad tenemos mujeres pero que más que podemos decir eh, obviamente vamos a reír cuando nos oyemos la canción Canción de Colombia que dice libertad y ordena. Ay, ¿A qué día podemos ser de libras de España también? No puede ser la julio, no puede ser el mayo, ni siquiera puede ser agosto, diciembre o mariposas. No, obviamente debe ser eh, julio en vez que qué. Hacerle julio 20, 1810, eso es de mi gente. Oye, ¿qué más podemos hacer? ¿Vamos a jugar unos bolos? No. ¿Vamos a jugar unos fútbols? No. ¿Vamos a tirar unos tejos? Sí. Explosión. Explosión. Todos esos tejos. Explosión. 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 Más que en el cojón de Sofía Vergara. 
Pero, ¿qué más puedo decir? Oye, ese FARC, eso no va para abrir. Eso es muy peligroso. Eso es muy malo. Esos son los Revolutionary Armed Club versus Colombia. What is the order? ¿Qué serán la orden? No. Ahí en el Starbucks, ¿cómo pasa a ser el primero, el segundo y el tercer? Eso puede ser Colombia, Indonesia o Etiopía. No, eso no puede ser India, Colombia, Rusia. No. Probablemente va a ser Brasil, Vietnam y Colombia. Ay, ¿para qué vamos a ser nosotros hasta el, el, el río? ¿Para qué? ¿Para tener un café? No, perdón, un poco sancocho, porque eso es lo mejor para la familia, ni siquiera de chalvo de ocho, de eh, gordo y flaca. Oye, yo quiero tener arroz con leche, me quiero casar con una señorita de la capital. Oye, pero ¿cómo vas a ser? un poco más plata plata eso yo digo nada nada yo pongo a mis pantuflas amarillas no perdón esos son mis undergarments pero yo quise que tenía un cosita y lo olvidé voy a llamar Sant Antonia Ay, necesito tener más uh, como se dice como se dice a uh, 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 positive energy get these mirrors out Oye, pero en Colombia, ¿cómo vamos a hacer la novia para empezar que más con la exporto largo, la más emeralds? Oye, pero tú sí sabes que yo viví unos dolphins. Ahí estaban nadando en el río y yo creí que vivían a uh, pink. Orquídeas. Son flores. Y yo quiero darlo a mi novia Dolores. ¿Y ¿Qué más para decir? Que los colombianos nos gusta reír. Los gustan tener un risito y vamos a ser uh, muy chistosos. Vamos a ser muy felices. Vamos a ser con muchos riesgos. Vamos a ser muy uh, happy to be in. La, 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 la. Eso es lo que iba a decir. Eso es lo que iba a decir. Eso es lo que debía decir. Colombia es la más feliz en el mundo. All right, that was, that was a lot. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. Thank you for watching Cala de Risa. I did pretty good at first. Hey, man. I didn't even know what language you were speaking. I was speaking Spanish. Oh. Was Spanish rap. Where can they find you? I honestly didn't expect you to do a Spanish rap. Well, I did. That was a... Uh, but you can't stop the music, you know, you gotta... No, I kept going for it. We recorded went through the studio thing. time is expensive. Well, uh, they can find me at the real underscore Brian TV. Yeah, you can find me at Archilla, Archilla, Archilla. Uh, we got a call to the Risa TikTok that we definitely are going to get out an uh, Instagram page as well. So we'll uh, be talking about that more. Yeah, you editing. have a computer now, so there's yeah, no, yeah. no excuse now. I'm aware, so. I'm aware, yeah. Uh, well, it's happening, and this definitely uh, we're excited to... Uh, to, uh, to tell you guys this, this journey, dog. I, I really want some great episodes up on YouTube, man. You can find yeah. that at Binge on this channel. Um, We're going to be know. doing an interview with my cousin in the following His week. other cousin. So it's going to be good. And then I know it's a little early to say, but just on the horizon, I think this is the year. This is the year we're going to get our shit together enough so that way we can see about celebrating La Novena. But yeah, you're hella hyped that's, about that. We gotta, we gotta start thinking about that now, because that's, in, that's in Christmas. No, 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 no. That's for, the, that's for the next time. That's for the next time. I'm all wrapped just up. Kidding, my head hurts so no, bad. But we'll think about that, because that's gonna be really right, good. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right. Uh, al que no le gusta. Oh, shit. And like we always say. Al que no le gusta el caldo, se le dan tres tazas. Good night. Buenas noches. Buenas noches, Madre. Oh, man. That was a good fake Spanish rap. It was real Spanish. <laughs>